Here we go again, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm speaking with Anthony Dudley Wolf now, who is so ready for the European League of Football to begin, Anthony. Am I right or am I right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Hi. You will be playing for the German Knights Niedersachsen ELF team on a much bigger stage this year. How excited are you about this opportunity? Well, I'm really excited about the potential of this league because ever since I got to Germany since 2013, every time I spoke with other players, imports, we always asked ourselves, like, why isn't the game getting bigger in Europe? Why um, are the game this way and not that way? And why are we not on TV and all that stuff that we thought at the time was already there? I mean, social media exposure, like we have an example as the NFL and trying to copy them the best experience for the fans because we're nothing without them. So to have a league like that starting this year is really exciting. Yes, so exciting. But talking about excitement, you were playing in the NFL and then you came back to Europe. How was this step for you? I mean, that was a logical step because um, I was, I'm still in love. I mean, that's, football is my passion. So I just want to be out there on the field and play and at the best level I can play, I, I could play after um, reaching the NFL. I was um, going back to Germany and playing the GFL. And um, now that we have this league, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, once I, I was done with the NFL, um, really what I thought is like all the experience that I have, I want to bring it back to Germany. I want to bring it back to Europe. Would it be um, my former team in France or anywhere I go and um, doing camps and everything? Just because I think that if I had all the knowledge that I acquired being over there in, uh, in the NFL, if I had it earlier, maybe I could have done better. So my goal right now is to just just give all, all, that, all that experience that we don't have, like coaching wise and everything to somebody else, a little very, very younger, and then for him to be, just do better than I do. And then I did. Yes. So you 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 would say you can bring your experience and what you've learned uh, during your time in the NFL that will help you as a player in Europe. Oh, definitely that will help me because every time every time you you know that you coach, there's always like a certain point that you bring to the players, and then they they run a route or they do some stuff, and there is some more stuff that you see and you want to correct all the time, and you. That then it lets you know um, how much of knowledge that you have and you want to give that to 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 other players just because it will make it makes me better when I coach because I see some other stuff it makes the guy that I'm that I'm coaching better it makes Europe better and football better and then it's just better for anybody and then when everybody gets better have those advices and know more about football and then we have that league that platform for us to really show what we're capable of because Ever since I left for the um, for the NFL, uh, I mean, I was in 2016, and then 17, and then 18, I came back, I got injured. 19, that's the only season I played since. So really, I'm all the experience that I have, I didn't have, really have the you know a way to showcase what I'm capable of doing now on the field. So that's why for me, is this year is so special, and I really want us to have this season. So you can really help the ELF to develop. Uh, due to your experiences i mean i think i mean yes. <laughs> to, to say that i'm sure about it that will be um being a little cocky and i and i'm not but if if, if because of me the leagues get better then i'll be happy i mean i will do i give my best every time either i step on the on the training field or i, I go on, on the field to play a game i give my best and if it helps anybody and that, that's good for me well, I'm sure you'll be able to give great input. And where do you see the league and yourself in about five years from now? Um, maybe I'm 32. I'm going to be 33. So I don't know. Maybe I would still be playing. I mean, some players did. I mean, Terrell Owens uh, over there, uh, Larry Fitzgerald that is still playing and maybe coming back. Um, I love the game. I think I'm still in shape. And I would do anything to still be in shape. And if I still can't play, then I'll be playing. If not, then I will gladly transition to play a little less and uh, and, and coach. Because like I told you, all the experience that I have, um, I just want to give it out to, to somebody for him to get to do better than I did. That's really my goal. And what are your goals for the near future? Like winning the league? <laughs> 
it's yeah, you know, it's it's tough just because a, a sport is a team sport. So um, yeah. I, I know that anybody on any team that that would start the season, the goal would be to be the best team and win the championship. But for that, what you have to do is really think about what you can control. And what I can control is being the best player, be the best teammate, and trying to help my team the best. Would it be offense, special team? Just help my team to be the, the best team on the field. And um, when you do that and you really take care of what you can control, then the rest just take care of itself. And hopefully that will be with the championship in the end. Yes, that, but at least it's the mentality that it, that can lead you to success. So last but not least, your prediction. What can we expect from the first season of the ELF? Uh, the, the thing that I know is the, the potential of this league. And uh, I really think that if any, everything, every aspect of what is what is supposed to take place this year is going to take place, it's going to be wonderful for, for us as players because the experience will be really different on and off the field um, for the fans too. Because like I said, we ain't nothing without the fans and, uh, and yeah, they, they bring so much energy to, to the game. And um, that's something that I, I really, I really want to experience. And um for the game in general, just in Europe, because it's, I mean, it's tough for people just to, to see the Super Bowl. You have to, to, to stay up all night from midnight to four. And right now, then you can just leave work and go, go to watch a game or, and, 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 and a good game and on a good platform and maybe on TV or will be the, in the stadium. So I'm just so excited for what we're bringing. And, um, and it is a, a league for the future. And really it's good because I think people finally understood what, what what players wanted, what fans wanted here in Europe, and they are fin finally delivering a product that will just satisfy people and, and, and in Europe and make them love the game even more. Yes, trust me, I'm counting down the days till kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, say, thank you so much for this interview. And you guys at home, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, my pleasure. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.